Good morning. I'm in the kitchen. The kettle has just boiled and I'm pouring it into the flask there. <laughs> I'm pouring it all over the, the kitchen unit. Multitasking. Pouring a flask and making a video at the same time. I'm going fishing. Just a short one today though because I will be going to work later this morning and in particular today that is a new town in Wales. So a game to look forward to but before then some fish to catch. First cast that means that I'm not a blanker. Second cast and they're certainly getting bigger Hopefully that's a, a trend. However, I am on a small pool and this probably is the maximum as far as the, the decent fish that you catch on a regular basis is concerned. You can pick up one or two very nice ones though. Again, all relative to the water. I'm catching a, a few of these now. They're okay, <laughs> let, me, let me hold it properly. Don't want to drop it, of course. Got a firm grip there. They're okay, not massive roach, but as I've said, and you can never emphasize that enough, can you? It's all about the venue that you're on. It's all about the place that you're fishing. I'm ready to cast out again, but before I do, I'll show you my setup. That's a Shimano 3500 reel. That's my Gray's Prodigy 12 foot float rod, the standard setup that I use on pools and ponds, canals, and I'm in about three plus feet of water, just over three feet of water, but I'm only one rod length from the bank, so a small waggler, that's okay. Shot either side, and then about a foot down, another shot, that'll take it down, of course, into the water, and then the remainder will sink naturally. And I've got a size, and I've picked up a bit of stuff there, I've got a size 14 hook and it's adrenaline super specialist and a couple of white maggots and I'm putting out some loose maggots as well by hand. It's working. That's what you do, isn't it? You find out what works and then go with it and of course improve as well. But if it works, I'm of the opinion that you don't have to necessarily change things and that's not just the way you fish, but also your approach because the line that I've got spooled up there is Maxima Chameleon. I've been using that for years and again it's never let me down so why change? I was only thinking to myself this morning before I set off I haven't caught a perch for a while then the float goes and I have been having a, a lot of roach activity, but this time my favorite species, the perch. You can see why can't you? Beautiful colors, great to catch, wonderful fish. I'm ready to go to Wales now. I've got my working clothes on and I'll still be using my iPhone to do some recording. However, I'll be the other side of the camera because beforehand I'll be filming the players and staff as they arrive for the game and then afterwards an interview with the head coach Craig Harrison and then a selected player obviously don't know who it will be just yet see how the game pans out and then during the match itself I'll be doing radio on TNS radio or radio commentary on a TNS radio. So looking forward to that as always. And who's just come and joined me? He's got a Welsh name, Dilwyn. <laughs> Shemai Dilwyn. <laughs> He's very loving. And talking of dogs, when I was doing the recording just now, when I was showing the tackle that I use, there were three dogs all running around just at the side of me. And it didn't bother me. The man did apologise on the way back. I said, it's OK. If they'd have jumped up or whatever, I'd have just had them in the video, just like we do with Dilwyn. But they were OK. They were just running around beneath my feet. No harm done at all. Sometimes it's nice to have those little spontaneous <laughs> interventions 
into your blog, isn't it? And your video in particular, like with Dilwyn. I didn't plan that. He just came in, jumped up on me. There he is now, sitting down. And it's all good. Right, where was I? Let's go to Wales. Dwi'n mynd i I'm going to Newtown. 